and welcome to Adrienne's Kitchen. We are just going to do a quick little recipe today for cloud bread because I want to have a bun for my burger tonight, but I don't want to have a real bun because I don't have any buns and I'm not going to go buy any from the store even if they had any right now. Um, also, these are my glasses that I usually wear when I work on the computer. Anyways, step number one, wash your hands. Step number two, handy dandy apron. Step number three, we're going with a peach bubbly today. Okay, got myself a drink. Here we go. So, you gotta separate the white from the yolk because we want to turn this into stiff pigs. If you've ever watched The Next Greatest Baker, Greatest Baking Show, Great Bake Off, whatever, the British show with baking and it's super cool. They talk about stiff peaks all the time. We have to turn this into stiff peaks and then that's got a little cream of tartar in it. This over here is six ounces of cream cheese, six yolks, and a dash of salt. We're gonna blend all this up this is how we do it this is how we do it that is basically a stiff peak it's basically fluffed up see how it's not moving anywhere stiff peak okay time for this stuff so the extra tricky part about the cream cheese mixture is that your cream cheese like legit needs to be room temperature uh, if it's not room temperature, you will lose the stiff peak of what's happening to your egg whites when you mix them together. Okay, we are not going to blend this mixture. We are going to gently fold this mixture because we want to try and keep this aerated delight as aerated as possible. So trying to get all that egg yolk cream cheese mix into your light and fluffy egg white and then we're going to put it on parchment paper and we're going to bake it at 300 and i will put an overlay for how much time it's supposed to be because i still rely on the recipe i'll also always include that recipe for you guys in my youtube link all right these are fluffy for sure so i didn't screw it up too bad i've definitely had times where i've really screwed it up. These ones are a little less fluffy, so we'll see how they, like that one especially, it's just a sad blob. That one's fluffy, that one's not. We're gonna put them in the oven. All right, and approximately 25, 35 minutes later, this is how they come out, and they're so cute, and they're fluffy still. Um, and even Jumbo over here came out fluffy. So I think I'm gonna use that as the base of my burger later. I might have to fight my sous chef over it, but they're gonna be tasty. Okay, y'all have a great one. See you later. 10 out of 10, best meal I've ever had. Thanks, babe.